seven clues that your blood pressure can go down. Number one. If you can lower your systolic numbers with deep breathing, then that, that is a very good clue that you can actually lower your blood pressure. You see, chronically high blood pressure that does not change no matter what you do, probably needs to be medicated. However, if you can take 30 deep breaths, but I don't wanna breathe. How long is the breathing gonna last? Is it gonna last all day? Do I have to take such deep breaths? I don't have a nose. How am I gonna do the breathing? Oh, just shut up. Typically, the first number will go down significantly. If you can do that, that that's an indication that stress is probably contributing to your blood pressure and you need to get started daily breathing because that will have great long-term improvement. Hey, it's number two. Exercise, if you take your blood pressure before you exercise and then go do some cardiovascular exercise and then after your exercise routine, catch your breath, relax for two minutes, and then take your blood pressure again. If there's a significant difference between those two blood pressures, then which one is the normal one? Well, actually, it shows that your blood pressure has the ability to change. But I don't wanna exercise. I don't like exercise. I hate exercise. My legs just dangle. I can't do any exercises. Again, like I said before, if your blood pressure never changes, that's probably what your blood pressure is. But this is a clue that exercise will help you and that your blood pressure is changeable. Number three. All right, so here's what you're gonna do. Take your blood pressure, then drink eight ounces of beetroot juice. Wait a couple hours, check your blood pressure again. Within 24 hours, that blood pressure is likely gonna change. Beetroot juice? Beat this. This is a clue because beetroot juice will stimulate nitric oxide. And if nitric oxide is able to relax the blood vessels, then they'll start becoming more pliable. The results last about 24 hours. The reason this is important is because if you have significant cardiovascular disease and high blood pressure and you drink beetroot juice and it's not able to create a pliability of the arteries, natural remedies may not work for you. But if the beetroot juice does lower your blood pressure, then you've got some improvement to make. Hey baby, it's number four. So another clue that your blood pressure can actually change is what is your blood pressure at your doctor's office and what is your blood pressure at home? If there's a significant difference, then you are likely suffering from a condition. It's called white coat syndrome. And at the end of this video, just wait till the end, at, over here on this right side or this left side, I don't know how it does with the camera, but one of the sides, there's gonna be a box. If you don't see it, turn your phone sideways, you'll, you'll see it. But I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do right before the doctor's office so you get a more accurate reading. I don't get scared at the doctor's office, I get scared at the upholster. You see, stress a lot of times in anxiety will make your blood pressure artificially high at the doctor's office. So they call it white coat syndrome back before, you know, doctors wore scrubs, you know, they used to have, wear white coats. I used to wear a white coat. Boy, that was hot. So I like the pajamas much better. Oh, sorry. They feel like pajamas, but they're scrubs. Yeah. We're on number five. The next one is lying down. So here's what you're gonna do. Take your blood pressure seated, stand up, give it some time, give it a couple minutes, take your blood pressure, and then lie down. Give it a couple minutes for your body to get used to it and take your blood pressure. If there is a significant difference when you lie down, that is a clue that your blood pressure can be changed. Why is this so? And the reason why is because when you lie down, your body does not have to work so hard to get the blood through the arteries and back through the heart. So that's a more reliable way. If you have significant cardiovascular disease, then it doesn't matter whether you're lying down, seated, standing, it's always gonna be high. So use that as a clue, take your blood pressure in those three different positions, test it out, and see what the differences are. Hey, we're on number six. Six. Sit. That's hard to say because I don't have a tongue. So your parents, how healthy are your parents? If your parents do not have high blood pressure 
and neither of them do. And the grandparents never had high blood pressure, but you're suffering from high blood pressure, more than likely it's your lifestyle. I don't have any parents, but my brother, part of music videos. Now people get very offended when you talk about genetics. I'm gonna tell you the truth and you're not gonna like it, but genetics does play a role in blood pressure. So if your family, no one in your family has high blood pressure, but you do, it's very likely your lifestyle. If everyone in your family has high blood pressure and you have high blood pressure too, and you're leading the perfect lifestyle, and despite that you have high blood pressure, chances are it's not gonna get lower through natural means. Sorry, bud. And last but not least, number seven. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, after this it's all done. Does anybody watch this far into the video? The final one is that you do not have gum disease. Did you know there's a direct association between gum disease and heart disease? You find me a person with great teeth and great gums, very likely you're gonna have great cardiovascular fitness. So if you have and improve your natural teeth and you still have some gums left, take very good care of them because the gums and gum disease are a reflection and associated with heart disease and thus your blood pressure. The good news is I don't have any gum disease because I don't have any teeth, see? So these were very good indications that your blood pressure couldn't go down. Make a list, get a list of things to do, get started, start lowering your blood pressure. Drink the beetroot juice. Are you kidding? My gosh, I don't think today's the day I'm gonna do this. Lord, why? every video it's it just rings it's impossible it's almost taking me like six minutes instead of four minutes which i'm trying to do i'm trying to limit these videos so that you'll watch them so that i can uh, compact them into bite-sized things but the phone rings